In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a um, Google image of a U.S. flag and um, turn it into a graphic for a t-shirt. Um, a lady had posted a shirt that she made in the Facebook group, 651 Vinyl, and there's a link for that in the description below, um, that people are interested in. And it's so easy to make that I just thought I'd quick show you how to do it. So what I did was I went to Google and I just um, typed in tat tattered flag or tattered U.S. flag. There's a bunch of them. Um, and so this is an image from Google. If you look down at the bottom, it tells you it's an image. We have to turn that into a vector. So we're going to go to path trace bitmap. Okay. We're going to choose colors. And because we have this bar down here, we're going to choose four. Uncheck smooth, uncheck stack scans and check remove background and click OK. Once this stop turns gray, then you can close out this box. Left click on the top and move that aside. Now, whenever you trace, you wanna make sure that you are deleting your image. <laughs> so click on it. If it says image, go ahead and delete that. Sometimes if there's white in a graphic that you trace, if you, you know, you grab here and, and you grab it, you'll grab the bottom one, pull it over here, select this one and delete it. Well, this one actually is what you needed to save. And this one is the image that you pulled aside. So just make sure before you delete it, it says image. Okay, so now I have a group of three objects. I have to ungroup those. Okay, I'm going to ungroup it until it says no groups down here at the bottom. Then I'm going to click off somewhere. And I'm going to start pulling this apart. So I don't need this. Um, I don't need this. And I actually need all of this, but I don't need these nodes here. So if you double click on this or just go to your um, uh, node editor, it's the, the tool right under the selection arrow here. Just to make sure you don't have any stray nodes in here because those will cut okay so just left click and draw a box around them and delete them my computer must be updating or something because i'm having a hard time I turn my snapping off there we go okay now this is a grunge flag. It's not going to cut well. Um, I mean, you'll probably be okay, but it's going to take some time weeding it and so on. But anyway, that's not why we're here. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and draw a star. And if you don't like the shape of your star, okay, if I go to my star and polygon tool click on the star and click the reset paintbrush over here you can see how it's shaped if you don't like that shape just find this little um, node here left click in it and pull it upwards until you get a shape of a star that you like okay all right now we are going to select it and hit control d one two three four five six seven times or how many ever actually i'll move all of, all of those okay and then just start placing the stars wherever you want them uh you know if you want to turn them you can turn them uh, however you want to do it it's you know it's going to be your shirt so however you like it. I'm going to just go ahead and place these quickly. I'm not going to take a lot of time. Um, all I'm doing to reshape or resize them is holding shift and control. Uh, you can just hold control if you want. So we'll get some stars placed in here and then what we want to do is select all of the stars and go to path union. Okay, and I'll turn those blue. 
All right. Now, we want to type the word America. And I think I'll use autumn and November font. Bring that over here and go to path, object path, ungroup. You can ungroup by going to object ungroup um, or shift control G, which I just use these buttons up here. It's easier than shift control and G for me. Um, and then once you ungroup them, then you need to go to path union. Okay. Then you can resize it however big or small you'd like it. And then click on it twice. Don't double click it. If you double click it real fast, you'll get your node editor. You just want to click it twice to get the rotation handles. Okay, so we'll put that there. Now let's go to path, linked offset. And let's turn that orange. We wanted a color that we can see, so we don't want it, you know red or white or black. We wanted a different color than this here. Now, if you zoom in and look at the top of your bounding box, somewhere along there, there's going to be a little node. See it right there? Left click on that and pull it upwards. That's going to give you an offset. Okay, you can make that as big or small as you like. Once you get it where you want it, go to path, object to path, and then Go to your selection arrow. It will automatically select that offset. Hold shift and click on the red part of the flag. Then go to path difference. And that's going to cut out around your letters so they stand out a little better. And that's it. I mean, simple, right? So that's how you do that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos.